Hello and welcome to Introduction to Intel One API for FPGAs. In this video, I'll explain how to get started with Intel Cordis Prime and Intel One API Base Toolkit on Windows operating systems. In this video, you will learn how to install the Intel One API Base Toolkit and its dependencies, and how to launch it in a Windows environment. Please note, this video is intended for users running a Windows OS. Here are a list of the software dependencies to install the Intel One API compiler on Windows. First, you should install Intel Quartus Prime Pro Edition, as well as related Siemens Quest to Sim Intel FPGA Edition or Siemens Quest to Sim Intel FPGA Started Edition simulator software. This is usually included with your Intel Cordis Prime Pro download. Next, you'll need to install Visual Studio version 2017 or later. You can use the Community Edition or you can use Professional or Ultimate. Next, you'll need to install the Intel One API Base Toolkit. Finally, you can install Visual Studio Code and configure it with a few useful extensions. Let's get started. You can choose to download Cordis Prime without all the large device support files if you want to save some space. The first link contains Cordis and the Quest of Simulators. The subsequent links contain device files for specific FPGAs. If you want to save some disk space, you can choose a smaller device such as the Cyclone 10 GX. As part of the Cordis Prime Pro Edition download, you'll get Siemens Questa. You'll have to choose whether you want to use a zero cost license or a paid license. Whatever you choose, you need to go to the Intel Self Service License Center in order to get either a paid license or a no cost license. Next, you'll install Visual Studio. When you install Visual Studio, make sure that you configure it as shown on the slide. You can install the Intel One API Base Toolkit. During installation, click the Customize button and select these minimal options in order to save some space. Finally, you can install Visual Studio Code and configure it with these three extensions. I'm going to compiler and open an example design on Windows. To start, click the Start button then search for the One API command prompt Intel 64 for Visual Studio 2022. I've searched for this before, so it shows up first here on the list. This is going to open a command prompt with the One API environment initialized in it. You can check that it's initialized correctly by running the DPCPP executable. If you want to ensure that the FPGA tools are correctly installed, run AOC. Great. Now let's open the development environment. Let's gonna, we're going to use Visual Studio Code. Make sure it's installed in your path environment variable so that you can launch it from the command line. We're going to get a code sample by using the One API sample browser. Click the One API logo on the left. The available One API samples are going to load in this panel here. Let's select the uh, One API FPGA compile code sample. That's going to be available under Direct Programming, DPC++ FPGA, Getting Started Tutorials, FPGA Compile. Click this little button to download the code sample. Now Visual Studio Code is going to open a new window with the code sample preloaded. To compile the design, open a terminal. We can see that DPCPP is still available in our environment. All of the One API code samples use CMake build systems. To compile this within Windows, we make a build directory.
Then we navigate to the build directory. Since we're using Windows, we have to use the nmake make files generator. On Linux, you just can use the default generator. This is going to generate the build system. Now we can compile the design using nmake. We'll start by compiling it for emulation. Once this is finished, we can run the generated emulation executable. We can see that it passes successfully.